February 12, dare you be different? Ye are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, and holy nation, a peculiar people, that ye should show forth the praises of him who hath called you out of darkness into his marvelous light. 1 Peter 2, 9. The warning that the Son of Man is soon to come in the clouds of heaven has become to many a familiar tale. They have left the waiting, watching position. The selfish, worldly spirit manifested in the life reveals the sentiment of the heart. My Lord delayeth his coming. The same spirit of selfishness, of conformity to the practices of the world, exists in our day as in Noah's. Many who profess to be children of God follow their worldly pursuits with an intensity that gives the lie to their profession. They will be planting and building, buying and selling, eating and drinking, marrying and giving in marriage up to the last moment of their probation. This is the condition of a large number of our own people. My soul is burdened as I see the great want of spirituality among us. The fashions and customs of the world, pride, love of amusement, love of display, extravagance in dress, in houses and lands, these are robbing the treasury of God, turning to the gratification of self the means which should be used to send forth the light of truth to the world. The children of the light and of the day are not to gather about them the shades of night and darkness which encompass the workers of iniquity. On the contrary, they are to stand faithfully at their post of duty as light bearers, gathering light from God to shed among upon those in darkness. The Lord requires his people to maintain their integrity, touching not, that is, imitating not, the practices of the ungodly. Christians will be in this world and holy nation, a peculiar people, showing forth the praises of him who hath called them out of darkness into his marvelous light. This light is not to grow dim, but to shine brighter and brighter under the perfect day. The thrilling truth that has been sounding in our ears for many years, the Lord is at hand, be ye also ready, is no less the truth today than when we first heard the message.